as you see the coach on the road being versatile as we bring you Chicago North Side, Chicago South Side, Cubs and White Sox. Talk to me with the coach, Mike Lee Maiden. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Welcome back to Talk to Me with the coach, Mike Lee Maiden, as we're on the road taking youngsters behind the scenes, and we ran across the manager himself for the Chicago Cubs. How we doing? <laughs> Good. How you doing today? Just fine. We're taking our youngsters behind the scenes, and, you know, some people want to know, what is it like being a manager of a Major League Baseball team? <laughs> well, it's a 24-7 job, that's for sure. Uh, you know, you got a lot on your plate, and, and you're basically, you know, a lot of times you're kind of just a father for 25 kids as much as anything. Uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, guys that are still playing this game play it like their kids and, and, and have a lot of fun. So that's, you know, you're trying to keep, bring that to the table as a manager. Just let the guys have fun, play hard, and, and see where the chips fall at the end of the day. Well, you know, I used to coach college baseball, so I definitely know about that being mom and daddy and everything else with these guys. Yeah, no question. I mean, when you think about the job responsibilities you have to do, I mean, you know, being on the major league level, is there anything better? No, I mean, you know, you coach a long time. Uh, you play a long time. I've coached a long time. And then when you're, when you're able to have the, the reins of, uh, you know, a major league team and then let alone the Chicago Cubs, it's, uh, you know, don't, it don't get much better than this, especially obviously the organization where we're just, uh, you know, rebuilding, so to speak, and, and, and getting things going and changing a whole culture around. And I know the team is in transition right now. You know, but, you know, when you still think about this Cub franchise, it's with the Yankees, the Dodgers. It's a real, real wide franchise. People come from all over the world to see the Cubs, Wrigley Field. You draw big crowds. I mean, you know, and you the man over this team. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, right now, you know, we are in transition, and, and uh, the good thing about it is our fans still come out. It's still Wrigley Field. But, you know, we're we're one of like four, you know, statured, uh, you know, teams: the Red Sox, Yankees, the Cubs, the Dodgers. And, uh, you know, that means a lot. You know, there's only, you know, four teams that when you put a uniform on, uh, it means a lot different than other teams. So, um, you know, putting that C on every day means it means a lot. And we're just trying to get that to where this organization is, is, is on a level with everybody else, you know, on a yearly basis all the time. When you think about yourself, you know, play, coach, manage on this level, who are some of those players that have been mentors or big influences for you? Well, I think, you know, number one and foremost is Robin Yount, you know, uh, you know, my best friend uh, today and and uh, coming up playing with him, you know, you learn so much, um, you know, but I was very fortunate you know, I played on eight different teams, got to play with a lot of Hall of Famers and and uh, as well as uh, some great managers, Jim Leland, Tony La Russa, Joe Torre, um, you know, so I've been very fortunate to be around a lot of great players and great managers. So. I can go on and on, but uh, you know, Robin Yount is probably the biggest influence on, on my baseball career as a player and, and as a coach. One of the biggest characters that you ever played with? Biggest characters? Oh man, probably uh, Steve Sachs uh, was probably one of the the craziest uh, you know guys I've ever been around. No question about it. Right here when I played for the White Sox, when I played with Saxy here, so yeah, he's probably one of the you know the craziest guys I've ever been around, no doubt. And I know you got. I don't want to take you away from you getting ready for the game. Just the last two questions. You know, I manage as a college coach, and I scouted for five major league teams. How do you draw the difference between being a player and a and a manager slash coach? Well, I mean, it's two different worlds. When you're when you're playing, you only care about yourself and your performance, and and as well as winning and all that with your teammates. But you're you're just in a in a world of your own to to try to put food on the table for your family and and perform out there in one of the toughest environments there is to try to hit a baseball, the hardest thing in the world to do. So, you know, and as a manager, it's 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 the whole opposite. You're worried about 25 other players. You're worried about. Um, you know, doing the right thing in the games, um, you know, the preparation, uh, all that stuff. So it's just two different entities. You had to worry about one person, now you got to worry about 25 and, and your coaching staff. All right, now let me take you way back, way back when you first put on your uniform as a baseball player, walked in that locker room and saw your uniform for the first time. What was that feeling like? Well, I mean, eh, there's nothing like it. I mean, you know, with the goosebumps and the and the nerves and, and the butterflies you have that first day in the big leagues. Mine was uh, I got called up and, and played in Seattle at the old uh, Kingdome there. So it was, 
You know, it's a, you know, the most ultimate feeling, and, and it's the last time your legs will ever feel like that in, in a baseball uniform. So it's it's something you never forget, and it's just one of the greatest days of your life. Remember your first hit? First hit, yeah. I remember first hit was a double off the right center field wall uh, off uh, Matt Young. So, yeah, yeah, I don't think you ever forget your first hit. <laughs> first home run was uh, at County Stadium off Ken Schramm. Um, fastball, pull it over the right center field fence. Uh, so, yeah, those are things you never forget. <laughs> Once again, the Cubs take you youngsters behind the scene. I tell you, they never forget them first hits, first home runs. Cubs manage. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot.